A few months ago, I uploaded a video, how to install Microsoft Office LTSE 2024, and it helped thousands of people fix their installation issues. Why did I make that video? Because a lot of users were stuck, struggling to download and install the LTSC version. Unlike the regular Office versions, where you just run the setup and you're done, LTSC is different. You need to use the deployment tool, run specific commands, and for someone who isn't tech savvy, that can feel like a headache. That tutorial helped many viewers successfully install Office LTSC 2024. But I still get comments almost every day from people saying, I'm getting this error, my installation keeps failing, etc, etc. And here's the problem. Many of these questions are about the same errors, but I have to reply to each person separately every time. So today, I'm making it easy for all of us. In this video, I'll cover all the common errors people are facing and give you the exact solutions step by step. Trust me, this video will save you a lot of time and frustration. And make sure you watch till the very end, because in the last part, I'll share the fix for the most common issue that many of you have been dealing with. Every solution in this video is genuine and directly sourced from Microsoft's official forums. I'll put all the source links in the description, so you can also check the original Q&As yourself. Before we start, if you're here for the first time, hit the subscribe button. If you find this video useful, give it a like and hype it up. And if you know someone, a friend, colleague or family member who's struggling to install Office 2024 LTSC, share this video and my previous tutorial with them too. Alright, let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to tech to ai Today we're tackling 11 common Microsoft Office LTSE 2024 installation problems. Step by step, I'll show you the exact error messages, explain why they happen, and walk you through the fixes. Here's the list of errors we'll be discussing today. Stick around until the very end, because the final fix is for one of the trickiest issues, the leftover product, key problem, and it's a real lifesaver. Alright friends, today I'm going to download and install Office 2024 LTSC Professional Plus, completely from scratch, and while doing it, I'll show you exactly what errors can appear, why they happen, and how you can avoid them. Now, I'll fast forward the office customization part so the video doesn't get too long. If you want to see that process in full detail, you can check out my earlier video. I've explained that step very clearly there. Just click the i card above to watch it. So I've already downloaded the configuration file and the office deployment tool. The first thing I'll do is create a new folder. I'll call it Office 2024. When you name the folder, be careful. Don't accidentally put spaces or spelling mistakes because later it can cause issues. Now, I'll move both files into this folder. Inside the folder, you'll see two files, right now. I'll right-click the Office Deployment tool and run it as administrator. That's important. Then I'll select the same folder I just created on my desktop. After clicking OK, you'll notice the folder now has four files. I'll close that and move the folder to the C drive, keeping it open for the next step. Here is where many people make the first mistake. They open command prompt normally and it shows something like c colon backslash uses your name.
if you run the setup command from here, you'll get the error. Setup is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. The fix is simple. Always run CMD as administrator. When it's correct, it will show C colon windows backslash system32. Now I'll go back to my office 2024 folder. Copy the folder path from the address bar and use it in CMD. Copy pasting the path is always safer because if you type it manually and make even a small mistake like adding an extra space or spelling the folder name wrong, you'll get the system cannot find the path specified error. So it's better to just copy and paste. Once I'm in the right directory, I'll type the setup command. setup.exe slash configure configuration dot xml. If you've renamed your xml file during customization, you need to type that exact name here. No spelling errors allowed. If the name doesn't match, you'll instantly get an error like couldn't install. Error code 0-20240. That's why accuracy is key here. The folder name, the file name, and the command all must be typed exactly right, otherwise the installation will fail. If you get error code 0-2048.0 during installation, that usually means something went wrong in the middle of the download. Maybe your internet dropped for a second or the file got corrupted. The fix is simple. Delete any partially downloaded office folders, restart your internet and run the setup again. Another issue you might see is when you run the setup command and absolutely nothing happens. No window, no progress bar. That almost always points to a bad XML file. Open your XML in notepad and make sure it's properly structured. Even a small formatting issue can break the install. Now sometimes office will install perfectly, but when you try to open word or Excel, nothing. If your office apps won't start after install, head to control panel, programs and features, Microsoft office, Change, quick repair. If quick repair doesn't work, try an online repair. That usually gets things running again. Activation, error. error. 0xc004c060 is another one that pops up. This is basically Microsoft's way of saying your product key has been used too many times. If it's a MAK key, it may have reached its limit. You'll need to contact your license provider or Microsoft for help. If you're using KMS, re-enter the key via CMD. Microsoft's official Q and A page also has detailed steps for this exact problem. I'll link it in the description so you can follow along. Sometimes people uninstall an older version like Office 2021, but the old icons are still sitting there. That's just leftover junk. Go to C colon program files, Microsoft Office and delete anything that's left. Even better, run Microsoft's Sera tool. It cleans up everything properly, so no traces remain. If you see a couldn't install network error, it's usually because of a firewall, VPN or unstable Wi-Fi. Turn off your VPN, temporarily disable your firewall and if possible, switch to a wired connection. That alone fixes most network related install issues. And finally, the one that's confused a lot of my viewers, sometimes after installing Office LTSE 2024, it still shows as Office 2016 or Office 2021 in your apps.
Don't panic. This usually happens because old product keys from previous versions are still stored on your system. I'll show you exactly how to remove those old keys safely using Microsoft's official method so your office version displays and activates correctly. Here's a short disclaimer guys. Be careful when removing keys. If you uninstall the wrong one, you might deactivate your current office installation. Double check the last five characters of the key you're removing. And if you're not sure which is which, take a screenshot or note them down first. This process changes licensing data on your PC. So follow the steps exactly as shown. So here's how you fix the office still showing as an older version issue. First, open command prompt with admin rights. Click start, type CMD, right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. We need elevated permissions here because Office's licensing tools won't work otherwise. Now we need to go to the folder where Office is installed. If you've got 64-bit Office on 64-bit Windows, type cd c colon backslash program files backslash Microsoft Office backslash Office 16. And yes, Office 16 is correct. Microsoft uses that folder name for Office 2016, 2019, 2021 and LTS C2024. Next, let's see what keys are stored. Type cscript ospp.vbs slash dstatus. Hit enter. and you'll see one or more product keys listed. Each key will show its last five characters. That's all we need to identify which one to remove. To remove the old key, type cscript oscpp.vbs slash unpkey colon xxxxx. Replace xxxxx with the last five characters of the old key you want to delete. Press enter and wait until you see product key uninstalled successful. Once that's done, close all office apps, restart your PC and you're good to go. Your LTSC 2024 will now show and activate correctly. This method is straight from Microsoft's own troubleshooting guides. I'll drop the official links in the description in case you want to check them out yourself. Alright friends, we've reached the end of our Office LTSE 2024 troubleshooting journey. I have tried to cover the most common issue that occurred during the installation. If your issue wasn't covered here, don't worry. Drop your exact error code or message in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out or maybe even make a follow up video. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others who might be struggling and subscribe so you don't miss my next Office tips and fixes. Thanks for watching, stay safe and I'll see you in the next one.